Tonight, I am going to be trying my first time a blind playthrough of Yuppie Psycho. Cover art looked interesting, and I just thought, hey, that looks wacky, let's try it. So I know nothing. I don't know what I'm getting into. It's billed and tagged as a horror, and I think a survival horror. It looks like pixel art and like a point-and-click adventure style pixel art game that has stealth and horror, and I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm very excited about it. I love trying new games on Horror Night with you guys in the Flood Zone. The FZF, the Flood Zone family. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash the flood. Blind playthrough, first playthrough, all that jazz. Let's play, boys and girls. All right. This place is so full of people. And my tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. They were right. The big city really will eat me alive. And this letter. Job offer. What if everything was a joke? A scam? But... Maybe it's real. If this letter is real... This would be... My first job. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Dude... <laughs> because it's pixel face and there's only so many spots, like the size of that cigarette was hilarious. I've finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place, says Brian. I should walk around here, WSADA. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone, E. Give me my fancy tie. Hi, excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional tasks is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. She doesn't want to talk. She's busy. It's a booklet. It says, Are you at the top of your class? Start your working life at the best company in the world with one of our deluxe international scholarships. Hello? Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak then. Nice to meet you, Pastor Knack. Looking at you, I think I can assume it's also your first day at work. Just stay calm. It's normal. To be a bit nervous. Yes, I'm, I'm here because I got a letter. So? Sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are we, uh, what are you wearing? Uh, suit? No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, uh, then I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Hmm. I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Supermarket. Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G, and you? Get away from me, vermin! Whoa. How dare you talk to me, class G scum? But how? How? Get out! Go! I'm sorry for- Shut up! What brings a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Sintra Corp headquarters. The mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Wow. It's a pamphlet that reads, Every year, Synthicore provides aid to millions of people in underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. Thanks, Cintacorp. 
It's a pamphlet. Read security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides Class A citizenship to all of our employees. We've spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. Oh, I'm Class G. I'm going to work my way up. It won't open. Okay, so I can run with shift. That's cool. Rooftop management, executive garden, lobby is zero, canteen is one, initiation. I guess I've got a two. The button to call the elevator doesn't seem to be working. There's a camera on top of it. I guess someone's watching us. The button to call the elevator doesn't seem to be working. Camera's watching. I, I get that the camera. Hello, camera. Hello. You know, she's, bit, she's done reading. Hello, my name's Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Ah, uh, that's right. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, no, no. Call me Kate. It's more nat neutral. Or natural. Blah, blah. Aw, Kate's nice. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. Ha ha ha. I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here, and my family was able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky. So are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I work in disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Uh, specialization? Let me guess. Managing redundancy. Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well, wait, wait. Network protocol systems. Management of vertical bases. Structural data calculus. Uh, no, I've, I've only just finished my basic studies. Oh. <sighs> what am I even doing here? It's impossible for Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone else, someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pasternak, you have been selected for a role within the Synthrocorp staff. This job upgrades your status to a Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought, I, I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You've directly secured a position at Synthocorp. To me, this sounds like an opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education. Or This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Dude, she's really nice. I like her. Oh, wait, hang on. I feel like I missed something. Been a long day. Oh. First day of the job, genuinely terrifying. I agree. Yeah, the look of this game is good. I agree. Look, Amy, what's going on? How are you? Oh, kick him in the shin? I feel like I should have. I agree. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator on the speaker. Haha, ha, they always call the most important people first, understand? Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. Fuck you, Chapman. I don't like the cut of your jib. You see that little light on the elevator that marks the floors? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Chapman, you son of a... Chapman! It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. Ah... <laughs> Ms. Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Kate. I know I just met you and we've exchanged seven predestined sentences, but I love you already. I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Oh, <gasps> she loves me too. Oh, uh, so, so do I. Oh, this, is, this is cute already. This is cute already. This is not what I expected for Horror Night. It's cute. I like it. Up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. Oh, she's already higher than Chapman. Goddamn Chapman. Garbage. Garbage Chapman. I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless the letter really was a joke. There's nothing interesting here. Just checking out the old garbage. <laughs> Whoa, bugs. Yuck. I don't see anything useful here. Can I sit where she was sitting? Just to feel closer to her again. 
Yeah, yeah, we already read the booklet. One, two, three, four. So that's on five right now. What's five? Offices. Chapman was on initiation. He's talking a big game. What a piece of trash. Maybe I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with I. Aha! Show off my sweet letter. Use. Hello, security camera, gentlemen, or, or lady. I received this letter with my name, see, and it, it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank, or... Hello? What an idiot. Looks like it came all this way for nothing. Trying again would just be a waste of time. I guess it'd be best to just go home. I assumed when I got close to the door it would it would prompt me. Well, it looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all, and it's a long journey back home. What? Oh what what what? A nanny I would be scared that the doors closed behind me, except that it's an elevator, and that's what they do. Oh. We're going up. Oh, we're going up! Level 6. Level 7! What's happening? Yuppie psycho. Dude, am I going to the penthouse? Oh boy. The top floor? This has to be a mistake, right? In we go. That's a trail of blood. We're on the top floor and there's a trail of blood already. Can we get maintenance up here? Modern art. Expensive vases, but covered in... I want to say red paint. There's paint everywhere. That's right, it's paint. Let's just keep telling yourself that. A remote control, but it doesn't work. I'll need two batteries for it. Oh! Kill the witch! Why would someone paint that with red paint? It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Sintracorp as described in the attached annexes at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and a promotion to Class A. 10,000 credits a day? That's a fortune! Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Sintracorp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff, accept the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document. Indefinitely or until termination of contract, this contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total and or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as directed by Resolution 11.11.38. Just, you just gotta give up my integrity though. Who needs it? You know? Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Should I sign the contract? You give up your integrity? Your integrity? No, sir. I have a bad feeling about this. I better not sign it. On the other hand, having my first job at such an important company with all these credits... <sighs> I could sit down. Better not. There's cameras everywhere. I think I have to sign it. Oh wait, there's another room. There's a door, but it's locked. Oh, I have to, I have, the game is gonna force me to sign away my integrity. God damn. Flood, you're boring? How dare you? Just because I have a little integrity? 
just because I believe that, you know, pride is forever. All right. I guess I'll sign away my whole existence and whatever humanity for a fortune. Give me the money. Give me the money. Let's do it. Yeah, clearly I have to. I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Achievement unlocks deal with the devil, by the way. That's what Steam just told me. Deal with the devil. What just happened? Did you guys see those eye holes? Well, I signed it. Now what? Kill the witch. The elevator rang again. The six is redded out, so I assume we go there. So let's let's click the six. Oh no, it's redded out. I'm on ten. So I just click to ten. What's on the old ninth floor? It won't open. So what is six? Oh six is blacked out, you don't even see it. Archives, library, offices. There is no six. Wait, hive. What the heck is a hive? Garden. What's this? It's a pamphlet that says, Exhib Exhibition in Honor of the Devil's Blood. Good old Devil's Blood exhibition. BX. Okay. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Uh... Do I have anything to introduce myself as a man of wealth and taste? Accumulated money. Credits can be exchanged for goods and food. How am I meant to... Okay, well this is... This, this level sucks. To eat we go. Trees? Inside the building? You okay there, bud? Hello. Who, who could notice things like these? That the goblin likes to smoke as much as he likes cheese. I like that you rhyme. Hello? Centricor made the pitch. They are going to make you rich. A job that will make you twitch. Your deepest fears the game will itch. Never forget kill the witch. Well done, witch twitch, dude. I literally just was talking about him rhyming and you came in with a 666 that rhymed. Get some JPOGs in here for witch twitch flinch. Well played, brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> but the goblin likes to smoke as much as he likes the cheese. Who could notice things such as these? That guy's cry is very, uh, off-putting. Let's put it that way. Look, I'm a goblin who eats cheese, but I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. The lights aren't working here. I'm definitely not going in there without a light. Okay, so I need, like, a flashlight or something. Okay, so so far I need two AA batteries, and I need to figure out how to introduce myself as a man of wealth and taste. And figure out why I can't go to the sixth floor. Those are the puzzles we've unlocked so far. Dude, Cintracorp is falling apart. Look at all these. This, what's going on here? Whoa. It's a multi-button screen. I think it's best not to touch anything yet. I agree. Someone's ripped this painting to shreds. The plaque reads, In honor of the Blessed Virgin AM. The old Blessed Virgin. It's locked. Yeah, I would have guessed. Archives. I don't see anything useful here. We got one candy bar. Let's go. It's empty. 
Dude, they keep candy bars in their filing cabinets. This place is... They, they run a tight ship here at Synthacorp. I don't know if it's good that I'm hanging around here. I'm not wanted. Okay. So this is seven. Archives library. Okay. Offices it is. Offices it is. Uh-oh. Rothro. What's this? It fell down from the roof of the elevator shaft. It looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. Sneaky looking ass with a crown. I'll keep it in my briefcase. Good idea, Brian. I got a mysterious sheet of paper. Darn right you did. That paper's gonna open doors, Brian. Hey, offices. This is nice. Mr. Hugo. Hello. You the new guy? Yes, hello. My name is Brian. Um, Pasternak. My name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Bri Pasternak. No, no, it's just... Haha, it's a joke. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs of the big city, I'd like to take a lot out of you at the first. But don't worry. You're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. And this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks. Work with databases. Well, you know, computer stuff. There are a few offices and a meeting room. The bathroom's in the back, and this is the reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. They look like zombies. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor... See? He didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so we can sleep. Come on, follow me. I'll shut your office. Interesting. Okay, so people just do whatever the hell they want here? Welcome to your new office. Right now it's a bit empty since few of the employees are on sick leave, but... Whoa. Look who's come out of her lair. This is another of our co-workers, Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Miss Sosa. Who looks very, um... Very Tim Burton-esque. Right. She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on with the tour. Over here we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved. There's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say? We use a little to replenish our strength. I mean, don't threaten me with a good time. There's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever prepares more when it's finished. Right, Sosa? That was... Okay, so Sosa's hilarious and scary. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? Well, first we need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here. Somewhere. I don't have the necessary ingredients. Oh no, I got a slice of bread though. Why is there bread in the filing cabinet? Sosa hides in there sometimes. There's a lot of documents, but nothing I can use to make coffee. One cup of water. That's a good start. Packet of coffee powder. Why was it in the trash, dude? Blow on it a little. It'll work perfectly. Okie dokie. Now you've got your magic ingredients. Just turn on the coffee maker. Yeah, I want to brew some coffee. Let's go. Who's boring now, Lammy? I'm brewing coffee. You got one cup of coffee. Hell yeah. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water is really only good for showering. 
Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? What exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. The photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation, but let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. What? Dude's photocopying his butt. Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it. Double-sided. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hugo, you're crazy. Come on, it's your turn. Uh, uh, no, no, thank you. Come on, man, you'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. Guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not your face instead? Your ass was just on. Let's see. Oh, no, it's out of paper. Well, what a pity. Another time. No, come on, man. You're the only one I can do these things with. Sosa's a wuss and never dares. Can't believe we don't have any office or have any paper in our offices. Is there something in your briefcase? Um, I picked up a blank sheet of floor earlier. That might work. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. Use the mysterious sheet of paper. Why? Achievement unlocked photocopied soul. It says photocopied soul. That sounds ominous. Wow, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Witch paper. What? Well, well. I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pasternak. What is witch paper? Hugo. So then what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use the old computer next to you. Someone will relay your tasks. How does this old thing turn on? This doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Oh, there's the power cord right there. Turn that bad boy on. You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? Yo, Hugo. Computer says I need an ID card. True. Normally they get sent out to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Bum, 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 bum. Game froze. Oh my god, hang on. You know what we're going to do? That's still not working. Oh, there we go. Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yes, it's it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told you me you don't have an ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D. Got it. Thank you. Why wouldn't Hugo just come back out and tell me? I'm going to go try to talk to Sosa. Better not bother her. Okay, fine. I switched to a display capture. Hopefully that'll fix it. Uh, EF. Oh, look at that. So D would be over here. The old water closet. The old bathroom. What's going on in here? Whoa. Looking a little haggard, bud. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> Wait, is there someone in there? You okay? Do you want a cup of my water? He he he. No, I'm good without your water from the bathroom. What? 
<laughs> Was he about to try to give me a cup of pee? <laughs> I feel like he was about to try to give me a cup of pee. What the hell's going on here? You got 30 credits. Let's go. Oh, is this Mr. Hugo? Hugo is in all of them. Hugo's employee of the month. Okay, Hugo. Hugo's a champion, dude. Glad he's my manager guy or whatever. C is open. I don't have to go to... Oh. This place is... A what is that? It's horse shit. I understand a lot of these charts, but I'd say this company seems to have its ups and downs. Yeah. And it's filled with horse shit. It's empty. What's that button do? Why is there horse shit? Ooh, Office D is... Sofa's blocking the door. Maybe I could push it out of the way. So that's good thinking, Brian. Office D, accounting. It's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap! This, th this isn't funny. Turn on the light. What the hell? Can I like fake it? There you go. Why is there like a lady moaning sound? Let's go. I got you, friend. Do you, do you know where the exit is? Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm gonna try to untie you. Must be tied at the back. Maybe this is the trap. It won't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but uh, perhaps between the two of us we can find a way out of here. We'll go this way. I can't push the chair over these wires. They're too tangled to move. Oh. Got a candy bar though, so things are looking up. And a cardboard box. Oh man, I'm winning at life. Candy bar and a cardboard box? We're gonna wheel you out of here, bud. Oh, he's got the light, so he's also my light source, I see. Whoa. Okay. But I want to search here before I go over there. Okay. Do a fit here. There we go. Oh, man. What is going on? Don't worry, bud. We're here to me. Help me. Okay. No problem, bud. Did you notice the alarming amount of humans hanging from the ceiling by their feet? But I got 20 credits out of that thing, so. You don't see anything useful here. Okay, Brian. Brian, you're a little bit willfully ignorant. Take it easy. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to get out in the back. Got one cover box. There's something written on the wall. Run, hold shift. What the f... Okay. 
What was that? I've got to get out of here as soon as possible. Can I climb through the vent? The air duct is open, but it's very high up. I'll need some help if I want to climb into it. Do I, can I use these boxes? Heck yeah! That's why I collected my boxes. Let's get me the hell out of here. Quick thinking on your feet, Brian. I didn't even get my ID card, though. What was going on? What, what's going on at this company? Hey, you! Sosa. Sosa, you've got to help me. Sosa. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Boss. Boss? Boss. Boss. Hmm, candy bar. Oh, the boss's door is open. Let's go in there. Oh, shit. Hello? Hugo. What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A monster. There's a monster in the office. A what? I went to Office D and it was, I don't know, a nightmare. Ah, I think I understand. The monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who won went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, no, no. What happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We've got to tell someone. Well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. Ha! <laughs> don't tease me, Pasternak. And besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card there. Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But, wait. So who called me? This office is a total mess, and what are you, what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, was I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in the office for years, until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps. Wait, but if there's no boss, who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. Dude, Hugo's remarkably chill about all this. Stop worrying about it. Best if you took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that. Monster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does this... Oh, it does restore health. Nice. Covers a little bit of health. Add two slices to make... And some cheese to, <laughs> to some cheese to make a sandwich. Nice. Covers a bit of health. Well, I'm going to save that slice of bread so I can make a sandwich. Got my ID card. That's... I guess that's good. See you in the bitch. I got a slice of cheese. Ew. Yeah. Speaking of. Just need one more slice of bread. I guess I'll do work. I've never used one of these machines before. Loading Sintranet. Sintranet. I'm working for the devil. What? What? What is this place? Could it be another trap? Am I in Vaporwave Land? Mr. Pasternak. Uh. Another freak. I had to get out of this nightmare. What the hell? Dude, this is so weird. 
Achievement unlocked. Welcome to Sindra Corp. Am I in a vaporwave music video? Mr. Pasternak. Sintra. <laughs> Welcome to Sintra Corp. Uh, are you going to kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. Wait, what? what is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what was this green world? A second ago, I was in the offices. You are connected to Sintranet, our corporate interface. Here, you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Welcome to Sintracorp, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain your, your responsibilities your occupation entails. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Uh, well, actually, it was, it was so long and there was, there was a lot of unfamiliar words, I, I kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will parse the information from it myself. Uh, according to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with classification system of Citricorp. By accepting this stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until the termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as directed by Resolution 1138. Excuse me, could you just tell me what my responsibility is directly? Of course, the focus of your work at Centricorp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. What? Exterminate the creature called Yes, I heard you, but I, I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. Okay, okay, look, I, I'm not sure what's going on in this company, but don't, don't you think I, I don't want to hunt anyone? A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I, I don't want to know. There's definitely some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Thank you. Due to lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hexenhammer, a witchcraft treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Like, like witches? Syntacorp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that for retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Hey, Sintra, look, 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 thank you very much for the offer and all that, but but hunting witches isn't my thing. I, I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. I am sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you would like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon. I hope you will reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Hexenhammer. Can you tell me again about that book? Your task is to receive the Hexenhammer from the company's library, which is located on the seventh floor. Is it a normal book, or will it be some sort of dangerous book shaped monster? According to my records, it is a common book. I'm not sure I believe you, but okay, it doesn't seem to be that complicated, I suppose. 
As of this moment, you have made no progress towards completing this task, sir. I encourage you to begin working as soon as possible. A productive worker is a happy worker. Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal the secret. That's threatening. See you soon, sir. Okay. Let me give it the old escape for just a second here. Load soul? Oh, I don't have a safe. I'm just going to grab myself a bubbly water if I have one. Or for something kicking around. Be right back one second. Thank you for making your home on Twitch the Bloods. This game is super weird and interesting. I like it. Actual bubble water. Sad, dark times. But there do happen to be a couple of Rickards Rattlers, which is like grapefruit juice beer, basically. So, uh, super low alcohol, barely even a beer. Pretty much the same thing. <sighs> Rattler work. I was out of my uh, bubble waters. I usually drink, um, what are they called? Just like, um, carbonated flavor water all logic come in like bubbly or LaCroix or uh, Fresca or whatever so that's like zero calories just like bubble like carbonated water with uh, flavor it's really good I like them a lot I'm out of bubbly right now destroy I gotta pick some up gotta go pick some up dark times but this rattler Oof. cheers boys and girls that's all right hmm That'll quench my bubbly thirst. Continue. Love bubbly? Oh, there goes the sponsorship? I think we'll be okay. You love it, Renaku? There's got to be an equivalent one for you, all Laji Kaman. There's got to be something like it. <clears throat> like, bubbly is the brand that I have, but Fresca has one as well. LaCroix is, like, the one that made it all popular in the U.S. Like, it, it took a while to get to Canada compared to the States, but... I'm sure there's sparkling water companies for you. There must be. Perrier has their versions. There's got to be something like it, Alad. I would imagine. Who knows? Maybe it's a maybe it's a North American sensation. <sighs> all right. I hope you guys are all digging this so far. I'm definitely interested. I, I'm eager to see what where this is going. You know what I mean? So we shall continue. I'm just a yuppie psycho. Hey, if you already connected to the system, the com uh, computer's a little old, so you may have some outdated software, but it should do great for the basic stuff. Find out your, what your responsibilities are? Yeah, it looks like some assorting chores, if you can call killing a chore. Kill? You have to kill somebody? Ah, no, no, no. Kill. Time. Ah, so you've already got the hang of it now. You're already thinking about lazing around, aren't you? Well, I mean, not sure I'm cut out for this job. Oh, why not? Here in the big city, everything's so much faster and just different. I was thinking I might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it, man, but don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack. Chill out for a while. Take it easy. It's your first day. Thanks, Mr. Hugo. Uh, hello? Goddamn Miss Sosa. I wonder why they didn't let me have this desk. Hmm. Okay, so... I can't remember what floor I was supposed to go to already. I've already forgotten. Do I have it in here? Of 
floor, one for canteen, seven for the book. That's right. Seven it is. I don't think I can go into seven. I think seven is the one where I have to present myself as a man of wealth and taste. So the Sintra AI robot thing said the Hexenhammer book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Until now. Anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of Form R301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed with a reference code of Cintacorp. All documentation can be found in the archives. You got the Form R301. I have to fill out the book data? Let's see. Title, year, and publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. Hexenhammer. Now I need to find the rest of the data in the archives. You serious? This is the way they're going to do me like this? Okay. Oh, the archives are a bit spooky. There's a letter here. It reads, On this topic, I can tell you only a very little that I have discovered. They call them witch papers, and they can be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but that they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to Photocopy a soul. By photocopying a soul, the spirit is saved. Should you do this before dying, you'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. So when I photocopied my face on witch paper earlier, it saved me? That seems useful. Hmm, gotta get some more of that sweet, sweet wish paper. Hey, now we're dogging. Maybe a little ink, too, would be all right, you know? Pencil. Authors, mobile archivers room. Publication years, audio cassette room. Publishers, box store room. Oh, sweet, a cup of water. Whoa, there is a stump, something behind this one. There are black marks on the ground. It looks like someone has moved this cabinet. Yeah. A triangle drawn in blood. Yeah. Got an ink cartridge. It reads, everything is computerized now. Nobody works in the archives anymore. I've s not seen the old owl man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I have been seeing something sinister roaming the bookcases. Uh-oh. There's a note that reads, Yes, I found it on a corpse. You can't imagine the things that people keep in their briefcases. Oh. Okay, so I gotta figure out which of these to look at, but I don't know that yet. <sighs> okay. I wonder if I should save. Maybe I'll save. Instead of ink, I'll need to replace the ink cartridge. I have that. I have that, right? Photocopy my face, please. Thank you very much. Okay. I already forget. <coughs> Authors, mobile archives room. Publication years, audio cassette room. Publisher's box storeroom. Oh. Okay. Triangle, square. Those look like cassettes. There's a fuse box. There's a fuse missing. 
There's a ladder that I can't reach. Oh, okay, wait, we've seen those things on the walls. How does this help us? Triangle was an upward, like, house-looking one, and then it was a square. How does this help us? Hmm. Unless we find the next one. They seem to be cataloged by triangles and square symbols. I don't know what to choose. So we need to find the third symbol and figure this out. So the symbols are drawn in blood on the walls outside of this, so that's useful, I guess. So we've got the square there. We've got that triangle. How do we get into that other room? Oh no. Hi. Oh, another corpse. That's just run of the mill now. That eyeball has eyelashes. What was... What is that? We've got a sheet of witch paper and a copy of Form R301. Wait, Hexenhammer, she was looking for the same book as me. Author A2. Nothing new, just a note in the author section. A2. She was a previous witch hunter. Whoa! Okay. How hurt am I? Just a little bit. Okay, so A2. There's a lot of old folder here. Uh, I don't know my Greek stuff. What is that symbol? Plus then a pentagram. Not a pentagram, but whatever that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A set septagram. What's the first thing? It's like a delta or something. That's an alpha? Okay. Oh, so A7 then. It's going to be some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another bookshelf. Yeah, okay, so... If that stands for... If that's an A, I guess. Um, I need seven. No, that's four, five, six, seven. That's so old, it's falling to pieces. There's only one thing in it. Okay, F and five. So B one. There's a folder up there too. Hope this is the last one. There's just an arrow up. No, there's there's an, it's right there. I see it. How do I how do I get to it? It's right there. It's very obvious. So I need a way to climb. Okay, so we know that much. I can't go past here. Because that thing will get me. Okay, so now I just need to find a ladder or a way of... Climbing or something. Okay... I think there, oh, back there we said there was a ladder that we couldn't reach. It was over here. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a box over there. Can I grab those boxes? No, I can't get those boxes. It's got to be this room again. What about moving box shelves to get past the? I think that would probably be the right move. That sounds possibly correct. Let's try. That. I don't think that gets me around it. Well, I, oh yeah, yeah, no, it does over here. Plus me on this side. Sneaky. Cheeky, breaky, sneaky. Sintracorp resurrects. It's a copy of the company magazine from 1973. The cover article has a picture of Sintra and reads, Sintracorp returns with their new development plan in robotics and computing. Okay, so there's two creepy eye trap things. So we'll just go upstairs. Well, that's some cuppy shit right there. Spiderwebs made of blood. Oh, here's our final uh, arrow up. So it's arrow up, square arrow up. Can I pull this to open it or no? It's beautiful. I thought you might like that. I thought you might like that. Okay. Oh, and I can... I should move these shelves before I go down so I can get to the file. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's figure this out. Actually, should I go to the next room first? Maybe I'll do that first. I got a slice of bread. I can make a sandwich. Oh, that's a lot of eyes. Coffee powder. I don't know about the eye room. That's freaking me out. Got a soda. Have a good night, destroyer. Okay, now I've got ladder access, so things are looking up. It seems there's no power. Okay, so don't worry about that room until we can move that. How about the eye room? Creepy eye room? Maybe I'll just leave the creepy eye room. Doesn't seem to be like where I want to be. That does not seem like where I want to be. Okay, so we'll go move the shelves and go back around and then climb on top of the shelves. There we go. Now we can get that thing. We're hunting witches, boys and girls, and we're going to get them. In my new job as a corporate witch hunter. I mean, I'm making 10,000. I'm pulling down 10,000 credits a day. This is Things are looking up here. You know what I mean? All I had to do was give up a little integrity. Author H. Kramer J. Springer. These must be the authors of Hexenhammer. I'll fill in the form. Kramer and Spranger. Now I just need the publisher. I just figured if... I swear I saw something move. Me too, Brian. Me too.
Okay, so wait. Now I have the author. Oh, and I know this now. I can figure this out now. Uh, up triangle. Everybody loves the dinosaur. Bottom, I think. It's triangle, square, triangle. I think. Pointed up triangle, I don't know if that matters. I think it does. Triangle, square, triangle. That's an upside down triangle. Hmm. None of them were upside down, but one of them might have been sideways, so I think it's on the left side, bottom, three in. I think that's the one. I think it's this one. No. Did I have to interact with those to get this to work? Maybe I had to. It looks like a square drawn in blood. Okay, maybe I had to interact with these to get this figured out. My bad. Triangle drawn in blood. Square drawn in blood. Where was the other one? I mean, that was the order that I found them, but maybe it matters like with in, within verticality. Oh yeah, no, that's triangle, square, triangle, like in the verticality too. Okay. So now I've actually interacted with them, so maybe now it'll work. Assuming I'm looking at the correct thing. Oh, maybe it's not the order of the triangle, maybe it's just the types of triangles. Okay, so then it would be the upper right-hand corner, second down, second row, second column, on the right side. So, wait, uh, you. Square, triangle, triangle, this should be the place. I'll take a look at the covers. Bingo, this one reads, Hex and Hammer. This is a very convoluted organizational system. I take umbrage with this. What is this company doing? We could make this so much more efficient with the use of a database. Okay, now how do I listen to the, the tape? I wonder if I can move those on. There wasn't a tape player in here that I missed, right? So I'd be annoying. Does not appear to be. Okay, so assuming that I, uh, I think I'm gonna try to get to that room. That I, I wonder if I can move the um, the fuses, or if I have to go find another fuse to get those other rooms online. I guess I have to find the other fuse. Let's find power. Where's your boy gonna find a fuse? Okay, I get it. It's a creepy room. It's scaring me too. I get it. I think I have to leave this office area. Like, I don't see anything left. Is he gonna skitter again? Oh, that's a good idea, Zed. I haven't interacted with the hanged man. That's a good call. I'll try that. 
It doesn't seem like this game would take me somewhere else to force me to get it. Like, it, it feels like it should be contained on this floor or this area. Oh. Oh, the splat, dude. <laughs> it's my first day. Ruh -roh. Wh wh where's the light switch? Oh, he got back up, dude. But I got myself a sheet of witch paper and a sandwich wrapped in aluminum foil. Oh, they're giving me, like, health items and stuff. How do I combine? I wonder. I wonder if I should save. Maybe I'll save. Or the corpse was dragged into the room. I mean, that's also an alternative. You're right. I think we do a save. Aggressive save strategies here in the flood zone. What do we do? A-S-S. -S, aggressive save strategies. Let's photocopy my face real quick. Photocopy my soul. Covered a little bit of health. Add two slices of bread to make a sandwich. How do I combine, though? I've got two slices of bread. I've got the cheese. Let me make a sandwich. Your boy just wants to make a sandwich. Do I go in there? I don't want to go in there. Oh. You okay there, bud? Sorry about untying the knot. You just look real uncomfortable. See anything useful here? But that's where the blood trail. Are you a hunter? Nah, no, man. I'm a normal worker. What do you want from me? Why are you bothering me? Who are you? I'm not a hunter either, like you. Hey, you need help? You're you're bleeding, aren't you? Somebody offered to help in this company is one of two things: a rookie or a liar. A rookie. Whoops. Am I suppose I'm a rookie. I'm from the suburbs. I see. You're poor and miserable, like me. I also came from the suburbs. I worked as an electrician, like my father and my grandfather before me. I suppose you already know how hard it is, how few resources there are. Where I'm from, from an early age, the only thing we want to do is get out of there. I was happy, or so I thought, but when I read that red letter arrived... Wait, you also got one? I see. Turns out that in addition to being a rookie, you are also a liar, aren't you? Hunter! But then you also... Listen, you seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? He just told me that people who help each other out are rookies or liars. Light. You told me that you were an electrician. Would you know how to turn on the lights upstairs? There's fuse missing from the fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal, as long as it fits. Hmm. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. You can get a lot of information if you look at them up close. Thank you. Weird things on the ground. Do you know anything about those things on the ground which explode? I've been caught out by several of those mines. Do you know if there's any way to deactivate them? You mean, to kill them? They're not machines, more like mutant spawn. I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. Hexenhammer. I need to find the Hexenhammer. Ugh, oh, don't talk to me about that damn book. I managed to find half the info I needed for the form. But one of those damn mines blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. Damn, I'm sorry. So do you know where I can find the rest of the data? Didn't you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of information is in. 
Thank you, and I hope that you get well soon. He's just gonna hide in the closet? Bleeding and shit? Poor guy. Okay. Well, that was, that was a weird interaction. So anything metal in my inventory? I don't think I have anything metal. Oh, I've got the... Wrapped in foil. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese real quick. Perhaps if I use the foil wrapper. You got one cheese sandwich! It seems like it's working. This should turn on power to the rooms upstairs. Perfect. It's a photocopier, but it's out of ink. I don't, have any, I don't think I have any ink. No saving for me. Oh, shit, I walked right into that. I wasn't paying attention. There are, there's a lot of them. Okay, so there's no way to walk into here. Now I'm making me want to grill cheese now. I'm gonna eat that cheese. Nom 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 nom. It's pretty good cheese. It's already gone. Still don't understand how to make the, the sandwich. That's weird to me. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I can get to the Dutch, but it's closed and I can't open it barehanded. Uh. Oh, you kill it with pencils! All those mine things, although this one seems to be dead. Is it a pencil? I think it's a pencil. Video club. What's up, buddy? Hello. Hi, my name is Brian. I mean, uh, Pasternak. I can't hear you. Uh, excuse me, could you? I'm listening. You don't need to shout. Out. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name is Pasternak. Book data. Have you heard of a book called The Hexenhammer? No. Maybe you could help me. No. Weird things on the ground? Is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil? Yes. Do you mean to use a pencil to kill them, or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you. I'm watching the movie. Right, okay, thank you. I'll, I'll try with a pencil. Can I... I need to... I would like to use your video recording d d device... Yeah, yeah, no, get get out of that. Yeah, yeah. Can I just can I just insert? Oh, that's a it's not the right thing. Yeah, you settle down. Whoever's locked. Oh. I can't reach it from here. I'll have to get a little bit closer. Stabby, stabby. It's a tape player. It works with cassette tapes. So that means before I changed that fuse, that kid was just sitting there not watching a movie. Into VHS. VHS okay. I wonder what will be on this cassette. Have you breathing? One four eight six. I like that it reiterated it. That has to be the year of the publication. I'll write it down on the form. One four eight six. Perfect. Okay, I don't have any video cassettes. Mysterio is the room. Mm. 
Okay. Do I want to... I'd rather not know who or what is on the other side. It's wisdom. That's wisdom. Let's get out of here. Peace. Okay, so wait. Now, can, do I have the form filled out? Am I done? Can I just go to the place now? To the library and get this hexen hammer? I think we can get the hexen hammer now. I add my grilled cheese. I stabbed an eye hole. Oh, wait. I could go through that room now because I've got pencils. Should I do that first? Maybe I will. Get wrecked, nerd. Okay. Holy moly. Oh, I'm gonna need more pencils because I gotta get to that guy's briefcase, I think. Two pencils. I'm well I'm rich in in, in pencils. Two more! Let's go! Ed. Ulstein Verlag. This has to be the unpublished the publishing house. I'm gonna write it down in the form. What's my basis for that? What's my basis for knowing that that's going to be the publisher of the book that I have and be... Okay. Ruh row. <laughs> Hugo, that's you. I can see you. How dare you, Hugo! Who was that? It was Hugo! There's a problem. Now I think I can't make it out of here in the dark without blowing up. I still wanted to check that guy's briefcase, too. I'll just tap my way forward. Okay, that one I'm going to get to, and I want to get that briefcase. Oh, wait, can I... Oh, but then I can't see. Nice. 30 credits. And a sheet of witch paper. Worth. Oh. Whew. Alright. That's still two pencils to spare. Lots of everything. The form is all filled out. I think I can get out of here and go see the library now. I don't think I have any ink to save right now. I've got a couple witch papers, but no, uh, no ink. Oh, wait, that one still has ink, so I could use that one. How much witch paper? I only have two saves. Yeah, let's pop one. Aggressive save strategies. ASS is what we do here in the Flood Zone. Boom. What do we partake in? ASS, friends. All right, so now we can put in the form. Error. After all that, it reads, Cintacorp seal needed. Cintacorp seal. Perhaps I should ask Cinta. I'll go back to my office and talk to her. Give me that good seal, Cinta. Um. Hi, Ms. Rostov. Yeah. Hello? Okay. What floor am I on? Like five, I think? Five sounds great. Yes, because there's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh, no, there's no need. Thank you. How delicious. Delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? If he's gone mad, it'd be best to take... Just lock him up and let her take care of that nut, don't, don't you think? A pleasure. My name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. Pleased to meet you. Did you hear? Well, I, I don't know. Hear what? Someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I suppose. Oh, okay. 
Bye. She's crazy. More witch paper. We're doing good. Hey, Miss Sosa, how are you? You okay? Hello, Mr. Pasternak. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? Getting by. The keyboard and the computer is in that. The mouse, click, click. Is everything okay? So, do you already know what your responsibilities are? Mm, administrative enumeration? That doesn't sound right. I think it was management of... What was it? Sure. Administrative enumeration... Subrogated. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what about Hugo? Hugo? I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Why? Why? Nothing. Forget it. Hey. Yes? Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her? Yeah, you already know. I don't. Of the... Witch. Uh, uh, no, uh, that doesn't ring any bells. Well, you have to be very careful, Pastor Nack. You, you know something about this witch? Careful. She's everywhere. This company is like an apple that fell from the tree, Pastor Nack. What do you mean? It looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She is the worm that lives inside it. And if it catches you, if she catches you, you will become one of her children. What? What's up, Hugo? Where'd your cute little cape go, bud? Hello, you too. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Pasternak, you already have a goth club card? Goth club? Sosa loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She's even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Careful, she might kidnap you and take you to her secret lair. There's only two members. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I met the other one. That's the other kid. I like Sosa. Sosa's good shit, dude. How's tricks, Pasternak? I see you're already still working. Are you already adapting to the company? Well, more, more or less. Were you in the archives just now? Pasternak, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're going to have to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Well, we'll, we'll see if I'll still be here later. This work is very hard. Come on, man, cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone ends up staying. Everyone ends up staying, he says. What a wow. Oh, Lord, she coming. Okay, let's go talk to my mystery machine lady. Bonjour. Sintra. What's this voice? Sintra, are you singing? Sintra? I beg your pardon? What's the swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Me? No thanks. Maybe later. I want to talk to you about that book you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in Form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasternak. To be able to access the library, you will need the Sintercorp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printed in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of Sintranet. Thank you. You already have the form with all the Hexahammer data. Use it to enter the library, and then find the book. Hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of our company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people here helping out the witch? Correct. It is entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. I see. Do you know anything about, um, children of the witch? I am sorry, I have no records of anything named witches' children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm. The witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. 
Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree, with peculiar, particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You go. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. Yeah! Oh, this is nice. How do you not take a quick swing, you know what I mean? You can't give me a swing and not... I like Sintra. Sintra's awesome. Thank you for sticking with me for part one of my first time blind playthrough of Yuppie Psycho. I hope you guys liked it and keep on sticking it out. This game gets crazy. Be sure to follow twitch.tv forward slash the flood. Like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. See you in the next one.